He came and he exercised that dominion. And he gave it to you and me to overcome the world. He overcame the world and he gave that same authority, might, and dominion to the church to also overcome the world. And that's why the book of Revelation addresses the seven churches and each of the seven churches is reminded of their identity. Blessed is the one who overcomes. Who overcomes. Every church, 100% same identity, is that in Christ you are an overcomer. So part of your discipleship in Christ is for you to come to grips with the fact that by whatever you have been victimized is really a mountain that you have been placed in front of to overcome. Your identity above everything else is an overcomer. And these five ministry gifts are to encourage you and assist you in discovering that you are an overcomer and to help you and to coach you and to teach you and to challenge you how to overcome, what to overcome, to stay on track because your identity in Christ, in Christ means you are anointed by the Spirit to exercise dominion in the earth and over the earth. That's what the word Christ means. It's more about the role of the Holy Spirit empowering you and me than it is about referring in retrospect to Jesus like it's his last name. Jesus' last name is not Jesus' first name, Christ's last name. So every time you see the word Christ in the scripture, it's not referring to Jesus. It's more referring to the role and the activity and the anointing of the Spirit. A king could not be a king unless he was Christed, anointed by a prophet with oil, symbolic of the Holy Spirit. He could not be king. He was an imposter. He had to be Christed, anointed, covered it's symbolically by the Spirit, Holy Spirit.